you ever watched a video and noticed those extra clips in the video that just seem to make the video more interesting? That's called B-roll and it's a powerful way to enhance your videos. Today I'll show you how to use Minbo to add B-roll to your videos to make your content more captivating and dynamic, even if you're new to video editing. So with your clip pulled up inside of Minbo, there are a few places that you can go to add and modify your B-roll. First, if we come down to the timeline here, we can right click anywhere in this timeline and you have a list of different options. You have insert emoji, insert text, insert sound, and then we'll say insert media. Let's see here we have a search box so we just tell it what we want. So this video is about blogging and Twitter. So I'm gonna type in blog. And now we have a couple different options. We have videos, we have images, we have GIFs, stickers, and icons. So if we do a video, here, maybe we'll just select this first one right here. It'll give you a quick little preview. And we're just gonna click use video to insert it into our clip. So now if we scroll down on the timeline here, you can see we have our B-roll now in our video. Let's just play through that real quick. Board, new highlight, new note, new project. So you can see we're kind of out of frame with that. We can actually grab this and we can move it around. We can adjust it or we can resize. We can have it be the full height of the video. We can have it be half the height. So now we're looking at a video like that. Or we can even fit it inside the video frame. We'll just go back to full height for right now and leave it at that. Additionally, we can move this video around depending on where we want it to be in our clip itself. We can shorten and lengthen this clip as well depending on your needs. And likewise, if you come up over to the transcript, you can see this little icon here with the highlighted text. This is also showing that the B-roll is up here in the transcript as well. Likewise, we can add B-roll from the transcript. So maybe we want to add another piece of B-roll somewhere right here. We're going to add it during this part of the video. I have a couple different options again. We're going to click add overlay. Once again, we have those same options. We have add media, add text, add emoji, and add sound. So let's click that add media button. And this time we're going to just type in Twitter. Maybe we want an image on this one. So we click the image that we want. Now here we have our image on the screen. Once again, we can drag it around. I actually like to use these align buttons up at the top. So I'll align this in the center and then I'll align this in the center again to get that right in the middle. Or what you can do is resize to full height so that that image covers the entire screen. But if you're not sure what B-roll to add or where to add it, we can let Minvo's AI do all the work for us. So if we come over to this magic edit button over in the corner here, we have a couple different things that the AI can actually do for us. And if we want Minvo to add B-roll for us, we want to click on magic media. Here's going to give you a couple different options. What kind of media do you want to insert? We'll just say image for right now. Then you select where you want that media to go. So do you want it to be just a small image above the captions in the center of the screen or cover the page? We want it to cover the page. Then we're going to click activate magic media. Now Mimvo's AI is going to do its thing. And now if we scroll down on the timeline, we can see all of these different areas that Minvo added images as B-roll to our clip. And once again, if you come up to the timeline, you can see that Minvo added quite a bit of different B-roll items in here as well. Now, this is probably a little B-roll heavy for me in this video, especially with the video that I'm using is more of a tutorial video, so I'll probably have to dial this back. And we can come in here and we can right-click on any of these B-roll images in the timeline and just click delete. And that's gone. So now we're back to our original video showing, and then it jumps to the B-roll. Maybe we're going to delete that one too. Once again, we can shorten some of these clips up as well, so we can make them fit our video however we want it to fit. And we can make these adjustments in the transcript as well. So maybe we're going to shorten this one up by grabbing this little end slider, moving it over. Maybe we want to bring this one up to here. We can delete the B-roll from the transcript, so we'll hit delete. But one of the things that I like about using the magic media option is that it's going to insert the B-roll for me. And it's going to find the best places to do that. Now, if I don't care for the B-roll that it used, in this case, I don't really feel like the, the car speedometer is going to fit my content. I can actually click on that media. And now we can see the properties showing up over here in the side. We have several different options to change and modify this as we need, but we can actually hit change media. Once again, we'll go back to our Twitter image and we can just change the media that's there. We'll hit full height, center that, and boom, we're good to go. And one thing that I should mention as well, when you're adding the B-roll, you can use the stock videos and images that Minvo provides, or you can upload your own as well. So if you record your own B-roll, or maybe you have your own clips and images that you want to use, you can actually just click upload and upload your own content as well. So that's how you add B-roll in Minvo. And now you have the tools to make your content even more engaging. If this video was helpful, be sure to hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because you have a lot more content like this coming in the future.